my name is Liv Perry. I'm the Director of Product Management with Universal Audio. We're here at MESA 2013 showing off the new Apollo 16 interface. Apollo 16 is the newest addition to the Apollo family. 16 channels of analog input and output, real-time U80 processing, and Thunderbolt ready. So it's an amazing new addition to the line. It's going to be shipping in Q2 for about $29.99 US, about the same in Euros. Uh, you know, check out with your local dealer for the local pricing. Now in Sonic State, they've already done a great you know, overview of the uh, product, but I thought I would take this time to really go into the software and give you a little bit more in depth so you can see what that's all about. So if we go ahead and take a look at the console, you can see very similar to Apollo, but actually the entire interface has been redone for both Apollo and for the new Apollo 16. Maybe starting here, we'll take a look at the new Sends interface. Now, if you're a current Apollo customer, you know that you've got little knobs for the gain and the pan. But customers requested that we add faders for the gain, so we've done that. We've also added really great metering for all of the sends, uh, and we've added bypasses for um, the auxes. Now, Apollo 16 is a little different from Apollo in that it's got a Q mixer. Now, Apollo's got two auxes and two headphone mix. Uh, Apollo 16 has two auxes and four headphone or Q mixes. And what's really great about this is it's really easy to set up a Q-Mix and say with Apollo 16, hook it right up to a headphone app or some sort of a, uh, a Q device. And then over on the Q-Master section, we've got actually assignable outputs. So you can actually take the Qs anywhere. So on one hand, the Qs are great for setting up headphone mixes. On the other hand, the Qs are great for using as direct outs. So you can take any of the analog or ASCBU input and go to any of the analog or ACB output. So it's a really cool thing to be able to set up for uh, live sound processing or any kind of studio processing that you want. You can basically use the plugins like hardware. So it's a really great uh, workflow. Um, and that is, uh, the Q-Mix is an, uh, an exclusive Apollo 16 feature. Um, you know, the other nice thing that the Qs can do, just like the headphone amps on uh, Apollo, you can just have the Q mirror the monitor output. So this is great for if you are setting up a headphone mix and you don't want to go through setting up a small mix, you can very easily just go and send him or her the, uh, the same mix that you're hearing in the monitor outputs. Um, last but certainly not least, the other cool thing that we can do is let's say you've gone through the trouble of setting up a mix down here, but you do want to give uh, you know, the talent a little bit of their own mix. You can right click and say, let's copy this up to cue number one. And then if you look up here, you'll see that these guys flip to show you, you know, the current level. So it just copies the mix up there. And then you can go and adjust that to taste, which is really great because you want to be able to give the performer more of them in their headphones. Uh, so again, just like Apollo, you can do this on Apollo 16, uh, but it's a little bit more modular in this sense because you're going to add on the headphone amps, you're going to add on the preamps, and that's going to be nice for the you know the professional studio that might already have an investment in a mixing console or a proper you know rack of outboard gear. One of the other big things that's going to be shipping in this new version of software coming in Q2 uh, is a thing we're calling virtual I/O. Now, virtual I/O is outputs from your DAW directly into the console. So this is good for a couple things. Of course, you could send sub mixes into the console, and you could route them through plugins and route them to your monitors or route them back in. But we think this is a really big deal for virtual instruments. So virtual instrument customers today, you know, they can play their you know, virtual instrument you know, into Apollo, but it only goes to the main outs. With this, you'll be able to play directly into the console through real-time UAD plugins. So you'll have the ability to put a compressor, put an EQ, put a delay, put a reverb, and there's no latency. Basically, you have one output buffer. Whatever your I.O. buffer is set is how much latency there is into our console, and then it just plays and feels like you're plugging that virtual instrument into a real desk. So it's a really cool workflow. The other side of virtual I.O. is the fact that it also shows up as an input in your DAW. So when you've gone through, maybe you've laid down some MIDI tracks, you can then go back in, play it through the real-time plugins, and then record it back as a track of audio in your DAW. So just like plugging it into a desk, that's the workflow you do. You could do it here with Apollo 16 uh, and Apollo Duo and Quad using virtual I.O. So that's a new feature. Again, both um, Apollo will have both Apollo uh, devices will have this feature uh, coming very soon. Last but certainly not least, and again, I don't know if I've set this up here, but um, there's a new um, version of the recall plugin that's coming. Let's see if I can just quickly call this up. Let's see here. We're going to powered plugins. 
or any of the larger UAD plugins. So console recall. This is a great plugin. It does course, two things that are very power, important. Number one, it controls the monitor. So if you look at the hardware up here, you can, also you can see that I'm actually controlling the monitor, the monitor gain with the plugin. So great for just if you don't have the Apollo 16 at finger's length, you can very easily control the volume right from your DAW, which is really cool. But the other more probably important thing that it does is it gives you total recall with our console application in any DAW. So if you look at this button right here, this is the sync button. All you do is click it, hit save in your DAW, and then all of the settings of your console application get stored inside the DAW session. So this is really important if you are setting up virtual I.O. or if you're tracking and you set up a bunch of plugins, all you have to do is hit that sync button, forget about it, open that session up a week, a year later, and the entire front end is recalled perfectly with all of the plugins, all of their settings, all of the sounds. So it's great because you don't have to remember what plugin did I use to track with that day or what plugin did I use for my virtual I.O. All of it is recalled, you don't think about it, it's a great feature. So that's a little bit about you know, the deep dive on Apollo 16 software. Again, the, sh the software will be shipping in Q2 very soon. Well, obviously, the interface uh, shipping along with it. And this uh, update will be free for existing Apollo and UAD users uh, as well. So that's coming soon uh, to a shop near you and to www.uaudio.com very soon.